I do wish it was a little bigger. You know, I had to sacrifice and give the kids each their own bedroom. Could you imagine? This is my closet. Okay, so I do have an obsession with handbags. This is my favorite handbag I actually own. This is a pink Birkin, and I honestly have no idea how my husband pulled it off because pink is really hard to get. One of my other favorite bags, you're gonna love this. This is a limited edition Dolce Gabbana bag. You can see little Hilton, little Cruz, and there's mommy, but mommy has to have blonde hair one day. One day, somehow I'm gonna have to dye that blonde because you know, they have to have a blonde mommy. I mean, I'm a blonde mommy. I would say this is probably um, my most fabulous bag I own. This is actually one of a kind Valentino piece and it's Hot Pink Crocodile. One would never know they can make Hot Pink Crocodile, but it is Hot Pink Crocodile and it's one of a kind. I have a major problem with shoes. I can never find shoes that fit me, but I would probably say one of my favorite shoes in this whole rack. Actually, I think it's this, because it's just a casual Chanel quilted sandal. And I wear these everywhere, and they're just so comfortable and easy to throw on. And I like, you know, I love to get fancy, but I also love to be casual. And these match my favorite handbag, which is my Birkin, my pink Birkin. So that's why I love those. I literally love the Valentino Rockstead Kitten Heel. These are like, you know, my go-to shoe for everything because I have major shoe issues. So if I don't know what shoe to wear with something, I just find this in my size and I just get every color. These are actually really fun. These are like my Dior um, tennis shoes. I love those. And they're hot pink and they have some really fun, you know, little sewn on sequins and crystals. Be careful with too much bling. It can get tickety-tack if you have too much bling. Okay, so these are my new Dolce Gabbana sunglasses. You're gonna love them. Okay, there's a box, okay? So first it came in a box, then you open the box, then you see this box, then you open this box, and then there's another box. And you open the box, and then there's these fabulous sunglasses. And they're actually heavy. So you can't wear them too long because you might get a headache. So. I honestly think this dress might be my favorite dress on the planet. I think this dress represents me because it's pink. I love sparkles. And I mean, who wouldn't sparkle in that, right? This is one of my favorite Montclair jackets. And look at this raffia, like it is so fun. And it's actually a light spring coat, which is really great. I love wearing this with jeans or black leggings or either black leather leggings or cute boots. It's one of my favorites. And I apologize, my closet usually is a lot cleaner. This is messy for me, I swear, it's messy. Who is it? Oh my gosh, who's here? Welcome to the Hamptons. So you guys are finally here at the Hamptons. Let's go into the dining room. I never really dine in here. I just wonder what it would look like with food on the table. Ugh. This is my living room. It gives me the feel of being in a lounge. It's on where I come when I'm tired or if I just want to be in a sexy place. I lay right here on this sexy black couch with my pillows, and it's so long, I can stretch out my whole body. I can even have a guy stretch out his whole body over here with me. <laughs> and let me introduce you to my sheep. Say hi, this is Madison. This is Charlie. And this is Timothy. These are my little babies, they keep me safe, okay? You know what, come upstairs though. A lot of people have been asking to see my closet, so I'm gonna let you see my closet. You deserve it, come on up. 
follow me up. You wanna go in? Should I take you in? Come on in. <laughs> you guys, this is my world. You guys know how I love my closet. This is my baby. I love my shoes. Special pair of shoes right here are from Mr. Louboutin himself. He said for Marlo. Love Christian Louboutin. Uh, it's never about the size of your closet. It's about the pieces and the items that are in your closet. Every woman has to have a skin in her closet. This is my Big Alpo Red Chanel Croc. My Hermes Croc. This orange Birkin here. I may not have a peach, but I'm from Florida, baby. I'm definitely an orange. <laughs> This bag has a lot of different faces, like a lot of girls on this show. <laughs> I keep the same base, though. So. Alrighty, come on, get your bag back, girl. She acts real funny when I take a purse. Come on around the corner. This is La La Land. This is where you just get naked, you take your clothes off, and you just close your eyes, you spin around, and you say, ha, ah, I'm gonna wear this piece today. This is another one of my favorite pieces, Judith Libra handmade Swarovski crystals. I keep this little guy with me. You guys finally got to see my closet since you've been dying to see. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed sharing it with you. Come back anytime, okay? <laughs> Woo. Hi, BravoTV.com. I'm Sutton. Welcome to my house. Y'all come on in and let's take a look. So this is my living room. This room is the heart of the house to me. You know, we love to just sit here and have cocktails and listen to the piano. My kids take piano lessons and I play the piano as well. And I have like local artists from Augusta that are on the walls and stuff so it reminds me of home and it kind of looks a little southern to me so I just love it. Let me show you the dining room. It's right off my living room. I love this dining room so much. This table is from New Orleans from the 1800s. Again, my southern roots are kind of coming out and I truly think that this wood speaks to me and brings out my southern vibes. We do big dinners here, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, and I do love to cook. Very convenient, because the kitchen's right here. If you want to come in into the kitchen. I think like most homes all over the world, this is where we are the most. My kids do homework right here at this table every day. And then we have the sitting room over here, so the TV can be going on and we can sit run the fire, the dogs are over in this area. So this is a populated geographic area in the house. So as much as I love food and cooking, I know that you are probably like all of my other friends. You wanna come up and see my room. The master bedroom. This room is my quiet place. I like to work at my desk here. I like to sit in bed and watch TV which no one ever admits that they do, but we all watch TV and that's my favorite pastime. And turn my fireplace on and the cats come get in the bed with me. My kids will get in the bed with me sometimes and we'll watch a movie. So it's just a quiet, it's a very quiet place. We can go check out the pool in the backyard. It's kind of special. The pool. We are here almost every weekend. It's a great thing about living in Bel Air, living in LA, we get the sun almost all year round. My kids love it here. I just had the seventh grade back to school party and had 25 kids in this pool playing volleyball in the grass. It's just really, it's about family and friends and fun and relaxation. It's where we decompress on the weekends. So thank you all for coming in and checking things out here. I'm gonna actually go for school pickup and I hope you all have a great day or evening and see you soon. Hi, bravotv.com. This is Sutton Strack. I'm with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And if you want to get to know me better, you've come to the right place. This is my closet where all of my stories have unfolded over many, many years. And I think the best place to start is definitely with my shoes. My Brian Atwoods, these are great. Brian is a really good friend of mine. I love these shoes. And like he signed the bottom for me because he's so sweet. Okay, these shoes are hilarious because Louboutin is known for not wear having comfortable shoes and these are not comfortable. These are called trash shoes, but they are hilarious. He did things that like, I think he, I think he took things off of his floor that he actually used for other shoes. 
and started making trash shoes. They're iconic. But then I also love my sneaks. I'm from Augusta. We go to the Augusta National for the Masters Tournament every year. These are for next year, spring 2020, to wear to the tournament. So they're, they're cute and fun. My tiaras I'm sort of obsessed with. Thank you, Mr. Dolce and Mr. Gabbana for starting this fetish of mine. The great thing about tiaras is if you're having a bad hair day or you're feeling sad, totally fixes everything right here. Just put a tiara on, it's good, you're good to go. This is my new Louis Vuitton bag and this is by Urs Fischer. He is an artist and did a collection with Louis Vuitton and so there's a box of different vegetables that you can hang. There's a carrot, there's a, an egg, an apple, there's all kinds of things that you can dangle. You can also dangle them from the bottom. I have not, she has not come out with me yet, but I mean, she's kind of cute with this outfit. So I do have to keep a little tiny ladder in this closet. Um, one, my housekeeper, she's smaller than I am, so she definitely needs it. But um, we use this to step up, because these are more like my cocktail dresses, so I don't wear them all the time. But this is kind of a fun dress too. Sorry, I hate to bring up Dolce & Gabbana again, but I did wear this exact dress on the runway in Milan when I walked the fashion show, and I've never worn it since. There's actually another little closet situation that I wanna show you. My hats are really fun. This is couture. It's um, Dolce & Gabbana Altimoda, and I bought this a couple of years ago. It's this cashmere ship dress and I love it. And it's so pretty. And you know what's great about this dress and what's great about a lot of the Dolce & Gabbana Ultimoto pieces that I buy? They're actually from the runway. And I love when things can zip up. It makes me so happy. Like a model wore this and then I wore it. Love it. This is it. This is my closet. C'est moi et c'est tout. Eventually, I would like to take this wall down and blend all of this together to live happily ever ever as a family. And I hope y'all can see that later and stay tuned maybe for the reconstruction of the closet. So this will all be a big open space with everybody together. All my memories, all my favorites together. Thanks for watching. Hi, BravoTV.com. Welcome to my humble abode. You guys are in for a treat. I'm gonna give you a grand tour of my house. The house is basically 12,000 square feet with an 8,000 square foot basement. It has nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms. 16 bathrooms, you say? Well, the architect told me that when you build these houses now to keep the value, it's better for every bedroom to have its own bathroom. So you know what? I listen to people who have more experience than I do. This section right here is my formal living room slash dining room combined. Fancy room that only the fancy people get to use. So this is our great room. This is the space where my kids spend the most time. And then we come over to my kitchen. I wanted a double island kitchen because obviously that's the hottest thing right now. And I have this double oven. And then this is a speed oven, which I have yet to learn how to use, but it looks pretty. This continues over to my backyard. You guys gotta check this out. It's very private, very quiet. That's my pool house kind of like my husband's escape home. He goes there all the time. And that little house looking thing back there, that's actually my shed. Yes, I know it's the size of some people's homes, but what can I do? I have a lot of stuff. So let's continue on inside. So now we've made it to the basement. This is the grand space. And then we come here into my beautiful home theater. Voila. People are always wowed by this room. This is our spa, which of course I love. And this is our sauna. I haven't used it yet, only my husband has. I just don't like it when it's too hot. This is the cream of the crop. I end up playing down here, and I don't know, it's just so awesome. I mean, like... Yay, finally! Because my lazy ass doesn't want to go up four flights of stairs, and also because I don't have to, I'm gonna take my elevator. So I'll see you guys up there. Here we go. Woo! I worked up a sweat. 
This is the master bedroom. I actually just custom made this gorgeous Alaskan king size bed. It's 108 by 108. It's gonna be able to accommodate me and all my kids. And then we will go into my master closet. I do wish it was a little bigger. You know, I had to sacrifice and give the kids each their own bedroom. Could you imagine? And then we walk into the master bathroom. I have two water closets for the toilets because when you've been married as long as I have, sometimes you and your spouse are on the same schedule, if you know what I mean. So you don't want anyone to catch themselves in a bind. So we put basically a his and a hers. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of our tour. Thank you so much for joining me on my house tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Hi, you guys. Come on in to my closet. It's small, but you know what? It's a work in progress, just like me. CB Barore, my bag line, of course, I have those. You guys may remember this bag. I wore this bag in Tokyo. We're not even leaving. They leaving. As you can see, it's really more like art, so I wouldn't say uh, put your credit card in here, because <laughs> it's going to fall out. <laughs> I'm all about personal style, how you put it all together. So I still have like old stuff from back in the day. Remember Gucci Low first, waiting for these to come back. Love sneakers. Definitely step my sneaker game up a little bit because I'm getting older, child. I'm getting older and my knees ain't what they used to be. Actually, these are one of my favorites that I haven't worn before. I actually bought these from NeNe. <laughs> these were like a trade off with NeNe. I wear tons of hats and obviously wigs. This is what I wore for NeNe's animal party that I didn't get to stay at because I had to deliver Eva's baby. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. What's going on? Contracting. Like Stop. Yeah. I feel like it's dropped. It has. It's... Yeah, you're having a baby tonight. Well, almost. Didn't quite happen, but trust me, I was ready to. This would be amazing to walk down the runway when, you know, mama gets all snatched. Maybe you guys will get a chance to see me in this one. Mike actually has a tiny closet in the actual bedroom, and I have all the space. I need, I mean, what do you want from me? So that's pretty much it. You know, short and sweet, like my girl Candy. So thank you guys again for coming. Love you guys, and thank you for watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Bye. The door is closed. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Today, we're going to take a tour of my closet. My little pink ladder, you gotta have it in here. Now, I'll bling up this ladder soon enough, but I'm neat, so everything is neatly categorized, right? In this section, I have pretty much all of my dresses that are long and lengthy. Then, in this closet, we have those dresses that fit halfway. Now, as you can see, I can't reach up there, so that's where my ladder comes into play. This dress right here was for the opening credits of Married to Medicine. And y'all know I wear stuff more than once. I don't just, you know, buy, buy stuff and take it back. You know, I really buy it. So I keep it too, because this is really cute. So anyway, where's her boots? Here. <laughs> All my boots in here hanging up, because you can't put them on this way. They just don't fit. So we display them behind doors. <laughs> they hang up with the jackets. And that's about it, guys. That's all it takes. I love my chandeliers, I love my area for my girls, I love my closet space, my staircase. 
So thanks for coming, thanks for viewing. I hope you love it because I absolutely do, guys. Hi, BravoTV.com. Welcome to my closet tour. Let's be honest, clothes aren't really my thing. I have to dress up a lot for different events that I go to, but it's not something I'm obsessed with. But I am obsessed with my workout clothes, and my favorite go-to clothes are always my high-waisted pants. I have, I mean, it's insane how many pairs I have because sometimes I go to a workout and then I have to go meet a client or go pick up my kids, and sometimes I don't have time to change. I'm very OCD about some things, but my closet organization isn't one of them, which drives my husband crazy since he utilizes the majority of our closet. Here's his stuff. This is Edwin, 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 Edwin. And then this is me. <laughs> this is what I like to call my mom attire. This is the matching sweatsuits where you kind of, you go for school drop off, you pretend you have it all together because you're able to match the blue with the blue. You're like, yeah, I fold it together. Then this is the stuff that like, I have certain events or things like that. I know this is my dressy stuff and I go, these are my go-tos. Other than that, my go-to things that I wear most, other than my sneaks, workout stuff, are hats. Because then I don't have to style my hair. So I have a lot of baseball caps, I have a lot of hats scattered around everywhere. I mean, if I had to pick like a favorite accessory or something, I'm pretty hooked on my fanny packs. I have, <laughs> I don't know if that's the coolest thing, but I love these because you could, oh, what do I have? I've uh, apparently got some dust, but I love these because it's perfect. Like, I think they're cute. I can stick my phone in there, easy accessible and like one other things. And then like, I'm not constantly having to lug around a bag. So I love these. And it's a perfect like mom gift, I think. And this little guy right here, I just want everybody to know, Instagram is a lot of smoke and mirrors. Most of the time when you see anybody making videos on their phone, they got one of these bad boys. This light <laughs> helps your skin. If I had this light, my skin would look a lot better than it does right now. Well, hope you enjoyed my closet tour, as fancy as it was. Bye. So welcome to my closet. We love clothes, don't we girls? So we try to arrange it by color. It's a lot going on up in here. This is my shoe area. I call myself a shoe whore, because I just love shoes. What about these? <sighs> yes. They just came in. Can't wait to put them on, girl. Ow, ow, ow. This is one area that I love. These are all my little small bling bags. You know, when you go out, you have bling purses. And girls, never tote your big giant bag when you're going out. Always get your small little clutch to play with. They're so fun. I love them. Here's more purses. I'm obsessed with handbags. Anything a girl loves, I love. Okay, my sunglasses, I lose them everywhere I go. And as you can see, I love brown sunglasses because I got to be able to see. I put an area for my hat. Do you guys remember this? Ha uh ha, -huh. queen. I have jewelry like everywhere. I am obsessed with it. Jewelry stands, jewelry in my drawers, earrings here, and I do bracelets here. Look at all these bracelets I have in here. Oh, and let me show you. I have another area I want to show you. This is one of my jewelry cases. This is for some of my specialty pieces. I love it. Anyway, so that's my closet. I hope you guys love it. La 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 la. Thank you for stopping by Casa Leaks. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Lisa Vanderpump and welcome to my closet. As you might have seen on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I've recently moved house and I really had a chance with this closet to design it myself. I love pink. Most of my closet is kind of dictated by pink. Like this shirt, you might have seen because I wear it in my confessionals when I'm kind of talking about the other girls. I have these shirts made, I design them myself and they have my initials on the cuff or they have my name. Even this to me, this green, just kind of jumps out in this closet because it's like, oh my God, it's not pink. 
We have to have a huge wardrobe, to be honest, working on the show. So pretty much every day I do have to dress. This is a new designer who I really love called Che Godfrey. The color to me is just absolutely beautiful. This is Christine Mikowski. I'm a huge fan of her dresses. I've got many of those. They have the beautiful beaded and jewels around the midsection. This dress I love for Christmas. I think it's really beautiful. It's just so kind of sumptuous. Again, it's Christine Mikowski, um, but just the red, deep red velvets with the, with the jewels. Next, shoes. I love, love, love shoes. Shoes and bags. I'm a huge uh, fan of Giuseppe Zanotti and Le Boutin, which is made for me, actually. I even have a signed pair, two pinky. Love Christian Le Boutin. I think you might even remember me saying flats are like a disease once. Jig. Hello, Jig. Wake up. Say hello to everybody. Come on, Jig. You want to come with me? Handbags I love. I have the Birkin bags, but to be honest, I don't really use them anymore. Occasionally, I kind of pull one out. I mean, I really am a typical girl. I love being a girl. I love dressing up. I love jewellery. I'm an avid collector of it. And I'm always looking for the latest necklace. Anyway, let me show you to my bathroom. I've made the dressing room and bathroom very open plan. So it's kind of like a little shop, really. It's really good because you put all the junk in there and then close it off. So as you can see, I've been really fortunate enough to be able to design my bedroom and, and dressing room with this wonderful bathroom. I really do feel blessed. Anyway, Jig, did you like sharing your closet with everybody? Are you hungry? I think it's time for his lunch. Thank you so much for visiting my closet and Jiggies, and we will see you soon. Bye -bye. Hey everybody, welcome to More Manor. Let's go. Here we are, my master closet. Here is where a girl falls in love for the first time. Not with a guy, but with all of this. I wanted my master closet to be elegant and sexy, well organized, and I wanted it to feel like a boutique. So I know what every girl wants to see. Where are the shoes? Let me show you. I like to think that I have my shoes organized like liquor, you know, top shelf. So my very top shelf are some of my favorite shoes. Why do I have my shoes front and back? because it's important to see how high a heel is. Sometimes you don't want to wear a five inch heel, and sometimes you do. I have my handbags all around my closet. My red Birkin, my white Birkin, my baby pink Birkin, my Chanel's, my exotic Chanel's, Chanel's I haven't opened yet. I have my real prized possession in my closet. Here it is, my trophies from when I was Miss Universe finalist and my Miss USA trophy. It was a good year that year. My actual crown and sash from that year. It's padded on the inside, but it's a special custom case for my crown and sash. Here we are, Miss USA and my crown. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. And also another word I should have, best stallion booty. There you have it. One of my favorite things in my closet has to be this gorgeous chandelier. It has just so much drama. I mean, when you walk in, it's just like drama, drama, drama. I mean, you know, you know me, I like drama. And I have been we in this all business 20 women. years, and I'm still here. Well, you better preach now. Right? Fabulous. Going with the wind, fabulous. The other thing I love in my closet is my bench, because sometimes I can just come in here and I sit down and I just really like to relax. I have a drink, I look out at my really big, beautiful windows. So there you have it. More Manor, Master Closet, the best things about it. <laughs>